Hey, so check it out, folks. Look, after looking at that thumbnail, you know what this weekend is. Listen, it's Super Bowl weekend, right? So listen, I'm going to show you how to make. You want to talk about do something different to have all your guests, all your friends talking about, man, that dip, though. Hey, listen, today I'm getting ready to show you just how easy it is to make. Look, we're going to do it like a Louisiana slash Southern. Listen, this is just a hot shrimp dip. Let's get it. Okay, so look, you guys just seen everything. We did a little flyby. Not a whole lot of ingredients, but this right here would be key. You guys want to keep yourself, you know, some cream cheese on deck at all times, right? And if you know you're gonna make this, you know what I mean? You'd like to have this to be room temperature. Outside of that, don't forget, the full ingredient list is always down in the description box below. Now, look, I'm gonna go ahead and start moving this, you know, it's my ingredients out the way, all right? Because I'm gonna go ahead and start, you know, prepping everything, right? So I'm gonna start with my onion. I already just like, kind of like, just cut it, you know, I made my slits down this way and cut it underneath the bottom. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and just, you know, cut it down like this. You see, when you do it like that, it just dices nice right off of the back. You know what I mean? So this is what we want. I'm not gonna bore you guys. Just wanted to show you how I cut that like that. Let me move this off to the side. We got some dice in here. And now I'm gonna do my bell pepper. All right, so I'm gonna cut these down. I'm gonna do these a little bit more on the on the fine side, right? So we cut these, you know, like this. And remember, when you cut fine, that's for flavor. And when you cut thick, it's for texture. Okay, so you see, I just chopped down my, you know, I got did my onions, my red bell peppers. I put my garlic right here, cause I'm gonna go ahead and get my press. And then I got my butter. This is the purpose of why I put all of my uh, ingredients in like in bowls like this. So look, when I need them for my next step, I line them up. Butter, onions, bell peppers. Then we always put in the, you know, the garlic glass. Now, I got a little heat under my pan. I'm gonna go ahead and start melting my butter. Okay, so you guys can see, look, my, my butter is already melted. Now I'll come with, you know, my onions. I like to always give my onions a head start, right? So I just let them start at least one minute before I start adding my bell peppers. Then we're gonna do bell peppers and onions along with the butter for about four to six minutes. It depends on how high you have everything. And now my bell peppers. I want you guys to look at that size. You know what I mean? Remember, we're doing it for flavor. So I dice them down just a little smaller than I normally do. All right, so look, now I'm gonna go ahead and just load up my garlic press. Put this big smile on my face. I don't know what it is, folks, about me, you know, pressing garlic, but I got it in here. We got the gun loaded. Now we press. Look at that right there. Fresh minced garlic. Okay, so while we gonna let this go for about another three minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my shrimp, bring this into the game, right? So you just wanna bring this. Now look at the size of the shrimp, right? I'm gonna just cut these down Probably like this. This is good. Look, that's a good third. You can put this piece in there too, but this is the size you wanna go, right? So remember, we just wanna get thirds out of it. Well, I'm gonna just say quarters because I am saving the tail. Okay, so we got all of the shrimp cut. I want you guys to see it. Look, we got them cutting like little small pieces like this, right? This is cool. You guys take a look inside of there. Look, we go, coming up right about on, up on six minutes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just add my shrimp. We only gonna cook these till they get, probably till they get about pink. You know, once they become pink, you know what I mean? Then we are gonna move over to the next step, which is just putting in the sour cream and the cream cheese. Now we gonna let all these flavors just marry together. Look at this right here, folks. I put enough shrimp in there so everybody that goes and get them a dip, you know, get them one, they should come up with some shrimp. Okay, so look, we coming up on about four minutes, right? Those are, oh man, it smells divine right here. This right here, we gotta get smell vision folks. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add my sour cream and my cream cheese, right? I wanna get it all, as much of it in there as possible. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and get my cream cheese open. 
Now that I got it open, I'm gonna just put it in, break it up so it doesn't be so much of a chore as to use it, right? It's already at room temperature. We just go ahead and add it, just like that. Now we just gonna go ahead and just work this in until it becomes nice and creamy. Then I'm gonna let it come up to like a little simmer, right? Then we're gonna go ahead and chop down our, you know, finely cut some of our parsley, add a little lemon juice, a uh, little lemon juice to it. And now you guys can see it starting to come into play. Now look, it come up to a simmer. This is nice, right? So now's the time to go ahead and add our Creole seasoning, right? Of course, I'm using Creole kick. So you want to put in about like a, I'm going to say close to a tablespoon. You know what I mean? You want it to have that flavor. You want it to send it over the top. You want everybody to know this is it. This got that Southern, you know, that Creole, you know, flavoring. Okay, so now that we got everything, you know, blended good, I'm gonna come with my lemon juice. I put my hand right here, use it as a strainer. You know, we wanna catch all of the seeds. This right here makes it nice and refreshing. You know, gives it a nice little ooh-wee when you hit it, you know? Come with a little parsley. Let's work this in. Can you guys smell what we cooking right here? I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my fire. Okay, so look, then you wanna put something out, right? So, you know, it's like the holiday. I mean, excuse me, it's more like a Super Bowl. Might be the holiday, you know what I mean? But whenever you make this, you know, like a nice warm dip, you know, dip like this. So listen, I'm gonna use this. I call this my bowl plate. You know, I got something to display it. You can put this off to this way. Then I got some French baguettes. As you can see, I just cut these down. Now, if you really want to be flossy, you could take some, uh, Infuse olive oil, you know, sprinkle it over the top, hit it with a splash of the Cajun, uh, the Creole seasoning, that Creole tick kick, put it in the oven and get them nice and toasty. But for me, I like to just go ahead and put them in. I like them like this. They crispy on the outside, you know, crunchy, and with a soft, you know, in interior, right? So I got like a little small little ladle. Now it's time for me to go in here and grab something like this. Let's see. We're just gonna go ahead and fill this up right here. Then you put yourself some of this out, you know, for your guests and watch how fast this go. You make this about 10 or 15, no, no, I'm gonna say this, you make this about 10 minutes prior to the uh, halftime and watch how fast this go. Set that there like that. Go ahead and get these. We gonna hold them like dominoes. Hey, how many of y'all know, know, know about them dominoes, folks? Let me know down in the comment section below. We just put those there. Let me go ahead and cut some more. Right, we get these, we just start putting these around, you know, cause it, trust me, everybody gonna wanna dip, right? Like that, put a little parsley over the top, just a little bit like that. And then I'm gonna come with just a little bit of that green onion, give it a little bit more texture. So when we take that picture, you know what I mean? It pop when you can see that, that, that ring, right? And I want you guys to let me know what you think about that right there. Ooh wee. Okay, so you look, you can see the presentation that I put out, right? So listen, when you got multiple guests, you just get yourself a couple of these and you put these out. I guess we call that like different stations. So everybody don't be just hovering over that. You put that out. now. What I can tell you is, again, listen, if you wanna go ahead and toast your baguettes, you can. I just like the soft, you know, I like the crunchy on the outside, and I like the soft, you know, that something about that soft inside on that French, you know, French bread, and then having a, like a warm, hot dip, that right there is just heavenly. Now, you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Listen, this is dropping early enough for you just run to the store to grab these ingredients. If you don't have the ingredients already inside of your, you know, refrigerator and your freezer already. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there. Check this out. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. I'm going to go ahead and load this up. Got a nice piece of uh, shrimp on there. And check this out, folks. I'm out. Peace.